Hey y'all, it's Chimdi. So I got PRK surgery. I'm super excited about all of it, everything. I got my surgery done with Dr. Castor in Beverly Hills, California. If you're in the area, definitely check him out because I strongly, strongly recommend him. I went ahead and I vlogged the entire experience. So I'm gonna show you all the vlog, but before we get into that, go ahead and give this video a like. If you like it, I really appreciate that. And I'm gonna come back at the end to talk about my overall reflections and the things that I think allowed me to heal as quickly as I have. See you at the end. This exact motion has been a part of my ritual for the last easily 15 years. And tonight is the last night I'm ever going to do it. And that is taking my glasses off of my face, putting it down on the desk and turning the lights off. I'm here at the bus stop waiting for my bus, feeling pretty excited. A little nervous, a lot of nervous excitement. It's a 40 minute ride or so, so I've got lots of time to just kind of sit and think about my life and think about my choices. I have arrived. This is it. I'm so excited. Because the procedure has changed so much, not everyone calls it PRK anymore. Today it is called such names as advanced surface ablation, advanced surface treatment, LASIK, and epilasic. PRK, or advanced surface treatment, is routinely performed on billions of patients every year. But no matter how often it is performed... You might need to adjust your phone. <laughs> I appreciate you looking out for the content. <laughs> All right, so let me just make sure you're nice and straight first. Blink. Blink. I thought I was negative seven, but you said I'm actually negative yeah. eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter with one and a quarter diopters of astigmatism. The other eye is negative one and 75 of astigmatism. So mm. you're closer to like the minus 10 okay. when you're combining your correction. Okay. Yeah. So you have your purple top one, okay, which you'll do when you get home okay. and then dinner in bed. So I'll give you your home first drop. So they're four times a day for a week. Those epithelial cells are removed and then that exposes the second layer of the eye where we're going to be treating your vision. Mm -hmm. So we do engage a tracking system on this laser that way you don't have to worry about eye movement. So the laser is able to follow the eye. And these are going to sting a little bit. So close your eyes. Any allergies to iodine or shellfish? Mm -mm. Alright, so I'm going to clean with the Now. All right. Okay, so I'm ready to bring you on in. Okay, and the glasses off for the rest glasses of the journey. This is it. I can't even tell there are things written on there. So we hope to go from where you can't see that. Oh my god, I literally can see it better on my phone than I can see it with my real eyes. To where you can see that. <laughs> Okay, so do you want to do you want to just say and then hit record? And I'm just so excited. I want to thank everyone who's helped me get to this point. Really, Woo -woo! mostly <laughs> just Helen and her man. Literally three weeks ago, they were like, "Have you considered LASIK?" And I was like, "No." And in one conversation, they convinced me. And three weeks later, here I am. So shout out to good friends, and that's it. I'm ready to go. Let's All right. do it. I'm ready. Come on.
Now my glasses. Join the glasses. <laughs> Goodbye forever. And this is the one. She is the one. We would not be here if it were not for you. Thank you so much, girl. I can see. I can see. I literally, I literally just finished crying <laughs> in the car. Thanking Helen because one conversation, that one conversation changed my life, y'all. Like, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take the purple eye drops and then I'm just gonna go to sleep, that's what they say. With PRK, you don't have to wear glasses to bed, which I didn't realize. I thought I was all set up to have some kind of whole situation, but you don't need to do any of that. I'm just like, I'm so blown away. Honestly, I'm so blown away. And right now, I'm not really having any sensitivity to light. And then when I take my glasses off, there's also like no sensitivity. So it's totally fine. I'm gonna keep wearing them just to be safe, but um, I don't really feel anything. All right, off to sleep. I just got up from my nap. It honestly, it just feels surreal. My vision is basically what it is when I'm wearing contact lenses and I know I have the contact bandage over my eye so I'm aware that I, there is still something in my eye. But just the fact that I'm not wearing glasses and I'm not wearing my contacts and this is my vision and it's only gonna get better. And I'm not even sensitive to light for real. Like I was thinking oh, I'm gonna have to like walk around wearing sunglasses for the next week. Nope, I feel perfectly comfortable right now. I am gonna walk around wearing sunglasses because I wanna protect my eyes. Even if you haven't gotten eye surgery, you should be wearing sunglasses all the time. It's the same way we're supposed to wear sunscreen all the time. But I just can't believe that. I just can't believe it was that simple and that straightforward. I'm just like, I'm just blown away. No pain, just chilling. I can see things. Things are not perfectly clear. For instance, there's a clock right there and I can see the time, but it's not crisp. You know, I'd say it's like 80%, 85% crisp versus how crisp it could be. Um, maybe even like a 90% crisp, honestly. I can read all the numbers from here. They're just not perfectly clear. Um, and that was my main thing I was wondering. I was like, how good is my vision gonna be? Because I'm not gonna have the glasses, I'm not gonna have the contacts. And it's totally fine. I was just thinking the phrase, seeing something with your own two eyes means so much more to me now that I'm seeing things with my own two eyes and it is this whole time. That's what I'm, I can't get over. This whole time, I could have had vision this good. It really makes me wonder like, what other things in my life could be as great as my vision, but I'm just not letting myself get those things. This is my first night going to sleep without taking off my regular glasses, but I do have these glasses. I've just been wearing them around the house. Like I have no idea if it's even necessary. I've just been wearing them. It hasn't really sunk in yet that I can see, honestly. To go so long not being able to see and then suddenly being able to see with your own eyes, it's just a lot. So I think that my brain just needs to spend more time processing it. The pain I'd say is like on a scale of one to 10, it's like a one. It's like a slight, slight, slight irritation in my eye. Like it's barely there. I don't even think about it. Honestly, it's like a zero. Like it's really, 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 really low. And I think my attitude is playing a big part in that. Like I'm just so pumped. Like I'm just so excited. I'm just so grateful. Like I have nothing but positive feelings associated with what's going on right now. And so I think my body understands and it's like, yeah, this is a good thing. just came out of my follow-up appointment. Um, it was super duper quick, literally like 10 minutes. He just looked into my eyes. We did a really quick eye test chart. It's still wild being able to read letters. Now I am about to actually, I'm actually gonna head to Home Depot so I can get some supplies for an art project. I really should run to make this bus, but let me try. Maybe I can make this bus. Can I get on the bus? Thank you. Yay! All right, so it is Saturday morning. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more of that stinging in my eyes, for sure. I wanna just keep my eyes closed. I put in some of the comfort drops, which I believe will kind of numb my eyes out a little bit and just make it more comfortable for me to have my eyes open. Even like looking at my phone. Um, definitely when I'm looking at light, at bright things, 
Um, I'm trying to read the Bible here because I don't know if we've mentioned Jesus recently. Um, and even that, it's like when you try to focus on things, especially like small things, my eyes are like, no, let's not do that. I'd say in terms of pain, it's probably like a three, you know? So not as um, easy to ignore as before, but not like, ow, ow, ow. Like, it's not like that. This is definitely more like peeling onions feeling, which I feel like I have not experienced up to this point. So it's Sunday night, my eyes feel totally fine. I had a little bit of sensitivity to light earlier in the day and a little bit of the stinging, but not enough to use the drops at all. My vision is still clear, but a little bit blurry, or I should say uh, my prescription is still like strong, right? Like I can see, like I think of this 2040, but there's still a little bit of blurriness for things that are far away and um, not really any halos. I think I had some halos earlier, but right now I don't have any. I'm looking at this lamp right here. I don't have any halos. So yeah, pretty solid day. Um, I'm thinking it's only gonna get better because I had my I think my day of pain yesterday so yeah things are looking good so it is Monday morning. This is definitely the clearest my vision has been and also the least painful my vision has been. Not counting like that first day where basically I was just chilling. And I just took the first of the last three of one set of pills. <laughs> Excited about that. Having a little bit of watering of the eyes when I'm like looking at my phone for long periods of time and looking at like screens for long periods of time. And there's like a little, little bit of that stinging. So back to like level one. And yeah, things are just, Super chill. It's Tuesday. I feel perfectly fine. There is no pain. There is no light sensitivity. There is no watering. There's no teary eyes. I feel perfectly fine. My vision isn't perfectly clear. I would say it's around, I think there's like that 5% blur, but of course I can see everything and it's not even that noticeable. It's really <laughs> exciting. It's really exciting. I still have the bandage contact lenses in. So that's what I'm still telling myself is like, girl, you know what it's like to wear contact lenses? But the fact that I know deep, deep down that I'm not wearing contact lenses contact lenses this is what my vision looks like I still haven't really like I still haven't really grasped it okay the weirdest thing is that when you're getting ready to go to sleep you're like oh I'm gonna take my contact lenses out and then you're like I gotta take them out that's the that's the thing that's been very strange so far and I knew it would happen but it's still really weird they're out they're out there are no contact lenses in my eyes. It is just my eyes. It is just my eyes. It is just my eyes. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is crazy. I always forget which way to get out of here. <sighs> this is... It's just my, I'm just blinking my eyes a lot because I'm just like remembering the feeling of, of how they feel. I'm like, oh wow, eyes, eyes. This was the first morning I woke up without anything in my eyes, being able to see, it's so humbling. It changes your orientation in the world. It also makes you feel like you've leveled up. Like life is a video game and you've like unlocked the vision badge and now you get to like, you've been like re-upped and now you can see life in a different way. It feels like, it feels really cool. So I'm recording this on Monday just so I could get the most up-to-date version of how my eyes are doing. They're doing fantastic. I'm so, so, so excited about the results. It feels like such a genuine blessing. I always knew laser eye surgery existed. I know a lot of people do, but there's something in your head where you just think like, oh, it couldn't be for me, or you think, oh, it's too scary or too serious or whatever. And so I just feel very grateful <laughs> that everything aligned such that I was able to get the surgery because I know a lot of people who want it right aren't gonna end up getting it for any number of reasons for some it's fear for some it's money for some it's just not understanding like in their spirit that it is as simple <laughs> as everyone says I think it's one thing to hear how simple it is but once you go through it and you're like yo it was really that simple it's really like it really is it's like, wow. So I wanna go over some things that I think allowed me to have a really good healing process. So the first is obviously that I was prepared by my surgeons and by that whole team of folks. They told me about the fish oil pills. They have a ton of experience as a team, as a practice. They have the latest equipment. So I like got a very high quality, high level of service and surgery. And I think that really allowed me to just kind of by default have a positive experience. I talk about in the other video why fish oil especially is so good. And I was really surprised 
surprised to not see it mentioned more in videos around PRK once I realized how important it was. In addition to the fish oil, of course, there are vitamin C supplements that you should take that help with the corneal healing. And of course, rest is really important. So I was able to take off a bunch of days off work, which is something that I know a lot of folks can't always do. Obviously, they have the surgery Thursday, but I still off Friday and that following Monday. So I had a full five days to just nap and rest and relax. The only thing that I know really helped with the healing too was my attitude. When I would feel this thingy in my eyes, I'd be like, good job eyes, you're healing. Yes, cells, you're regrowing, you're doing it. I'm so proud of you. If you're scared about getting the surgery, I have a metaphor that I think is very helpful. Not getting the surgery because you're scared would be like not leaving America because you're scared of flying on planes. So if you live in America, I'm sorry to make this metaphor very US centric, but if you live in America, you know that America is beautiful. We have a ton of cool stuff. We have a ton of beautiful places. We have a ton of cool cities, Grand Canyon, the oceans, the beaches, the lakes. The, like you can live a full, beautiful, rich, fulfilling life and never leave and have a beautiful, amazing time. But if you want to get on a plane, <laughs> then you realize that for as great as America is, there is a whole universe, there is a whole world that can be explored. All it takes is for you to get over that fear of flying. And some people have a genuine fear of flying. We know bad things do happen on planes, but if you are someone who's taken a flight before, you understand how you should not let that stop you from the entire mindset, worldview, life change that comes with getting to travel and getting to experience new and different cultures outside of your home country. Final thing I'll say about this eye surgery, is that I didn't realize how much I touched my eyes until I got eye surgery. Every time I put in contact lenses, I had to put my fingers in my eye. And I'm realizing some people walk around never having to touch their eyeballs. That's a normal life for many people. And I'm really pleased that I can be a part of the non-eyeball touching class of people. Cause that's weird, why am I regularly touching my eyeball? Let me know in the comments, are you thinking about getting the surgery? What are you scared about? What questions do you have? Cause I'm here to help you out. This seriously was one of the best decisions I've ever made, hands down. It's truly like unparalleled and I'm so excited and I'm fully an evangelist for eye surgery. So just let me know in the comments if you wanna chat about anything, I'm very excited to coach you into getting an appointment because it's great. Bye.